TIFU by thinking my boyfriend brought condoms to our Las Vegas vacation together and refusing to talk to him for a day cause of it. My boyfriend and I are in Las Vegas for our first ever vacation together. Today was the third day and we were returning to our room. My boyfriend goes to takes his wallet out of his pocket to get the hotel keycard and a small, black, square packet that looks exactly like a condom falls out. My heart immediately sinks because my boyfriend and I have never used condoms so this clearly isn't meant for us. My boyfriend immediately grabs it and shoves it in his pocket then continues to open the door, obviously hoping I didn't notice what just fell out. I ask him what that was and his face immediately gets bright red and he starts acting extremely nervous which I've never seen him do before. At this point I am so flustered and angry that I just leave the room while I hear him calling my name behind me. I went down to the pool for a few hours ignoring his phone calls and IDK what I'm gonna do. I spend all day just trying to distract myself with random things to do around Vegas. When I get back to the hotel he tells me he's sorry but that doesn't understand why I was so angry over it. I tell him of course I'm angry about it cause clearly that condom wasn't for us so WTF was he gonna use it for. When I said this he gets a puzzled looks then immediately goes to his suitcase and grabs a bunch of these tiny black packages like the one I saw fall out of his pocket. I take one and look at it. They are individually packaged at wipes, not condoms. He said he's been having really bad diarrhea the last couple days and snuck off to buy these at one of the convenience stores in the hotel, but got really embarrassed in the moment when it fell out. I ignored him for a whole day on our vacation cause he wanted to clean it. I apologized and it ended up being hilarious to USTLDR. Ignored my boyfriend for a day cause it thought a condom fell out of his pocket, it was an individually packaged ut wipe for his diarrhea. TIFU sucking ick. Throw away for obvious reasons. This literally just happened, I can't tell anyone I in real life so I have to share this somewhere, so it's a standard Saturday night, few drinks hanging out with my boyfriend and decided to move things on. We get to having X and moved on tonal without preparing. It's a fantasy of his that I lick his ick afterwards, which I don't have issue with and have done before when we're in the mood and drunk. So I gave it one long lick when done and could feel something like a hair in my mouth. Pulled it out with my finger, turns out it was a worm. Aking worm, probably worth mentioning that I work with kids so this is a thing I have to deal with semi-regularly. Kids get worms all the time. This is the grossest thing that's ever happened to him and we just discovered the biggest mood killer that can exist. Now just sat here both of us grossing out, tl, dr had null with my boyfriend, licked him after and got a parasitic worm in my mouth. Tifu by telling my daughter her gf is my ex. So I, 40M, have a daughter, 21F, who started dating her partner, 30F, about a month ago. She called me to tell me about this new encounter when they went in her first date. Her mother has not been in the picture since she was an infant, so me and my daughter are very close, and now that she is am adult, I can proudly say we have a great bond. She has always been hard working and after graduating high school, she decided to start working before choosing a college. About six months ago she moved out on her own. About a year ago I met this woman in a bar, we had a few drinks and we ended up at her place. Things went well and after a few dates I decided to lay down what I wanted in a relationship. We discussed it and she wanted to have a kid, but I already had the pleasure of raising my daughter and was unwilling to do it again. So we decided to break it off. I never told my daughter because it wasn't anything serious. Well. A month ago I got a call from my daughter telling me she went on an amazing date with a woman who she instantly connected with. I was happy for her and wished her the best with future encounters. Well, after a few weeks and several dates, they decided to make it official. So me daughter changed her relationship status on F-Band posted a picture of her and my ex. The wave of shock that rushed over me was to say the least, paralyzing. I didn't know what to do so I called my daughter and invited her over alone to talk. Well, we sat down on the couch and I explained everything. As you would expect, she did not take it well at all, especially because she and I explained on inviting me to a meal later in the week which would have been horribly awkward. My daughter left shortly after and apparently talked to her GF. Once my daughter showed my ex a picture of me, apparently she knew right away and expectedly, they ended the relationship. Now my daughter is a lot more distant from me and I assume it's because she needs the space, but how are we supposed to go back to normal after this? I doubt my daughter will look at me the same considering we could barely maintain eye contact after I broke the news to her. TLDR my daughter started dating someone I had a fling with, I told her and they broke it off. Now me and my daughter are distant and awkward. TIFU by ignoring every hint that she wanted to sleep with me. Admittedly this wasn't today but rather this weekend. So I, 
26M, had plans to meet up with my close friend, 29F, this weekend and I had caught feelings for her a long time ago but she said she didn't think of me in that way. But she was super flirty during previous interactions so that's why I thought she liked me too in the past. So to not ruin our friendship, I told myself I wouldn't try anything. Flash forward to this weekend she lives like 3 hours away so when she got here, she said outright, hey I'm crashing at your place tonight. I say cool, no problem. We do our normal thing, get food, walk around a bit, then just chill in my apartment for hours. We ended up getting drinks that night and were both sloshed when we got back to my apartment. As we're getting ready for bed she changes into her sleepwear in my room. Metrying to be respectful, I didn't look or anything but she left the door wide open for me to see if I wanted. After I get my stuff on for bed, we were gonna watch a little TV in the living room. As we were heading to the living room she stopped and said, wait, don't you have a TV in your room? So we both got in my bed to watch TV, and me being drunk, I fell asleep not 5 minutes later, the next morning she decides to take a shower as seemed straightening up. To my surprise, instead of getting dressed like she said she was, she decided to throw on one of my shirts. Just my shirt. She told me that she didn't want to put on clothes yet and even said it was just my shirt and nothing else. No panties, just my t-shirt. It's long enough on her to wear it looks like a dress on her so I didn't think much of it. We're spending all day in the apartment anyways so why get fully dressed man face bombing? We end up spending the whole day just talking, playing games, and enjoying each other's company. Admittedly she cuddled up to me a little bit and in hindsight there were a few times when SHE looked at me with the do me eyes, but I thought she was just being friendly. As we're playing games, she was making a lot of innuendos but again, I didn't think much of it. As it's time for her to leave, she gave me a longer than usual hug and just looked at me in my eyes with a smile. It looked like she tried to lean into me but I stupidly didn't try to kiss her. Anyways, later that day she asked me why I didn't do anything with her or make a move. And that's when everything clicked. She was basically throwing herself at me and I didn't pick up on it at all. She's home now and we won't even be able to see each other for weeks because we're both so busy. TLDR. The girl I have feelings for finally reciprocated and was basically throwing herself at me and I didn't pick up on a single hint until she outright told me because I thought she only saw May as a friend. Now she's gonna be gone for several weeks and I missed my chance until she returns. TIFU sneezing while peeing plus a secret third thing. TIFU. So, this did not happen today but two days ago. I haven't been feeling too great ever since my partner got back from a trip out of town. They brought back a cold that up to that point, been the true bane of my existence. Then comes Wednesday night. I had just woken up from a dead sleep, ever since I started working graveyard shifts I sleep most of the day. I get out of bed to go to the bathroom, and the moment I start peeing I get this tingle in my nose, small at first but quickly crescendos and toe and sneeze I can only describe as an eruption of the sinus. Then. Death the pain came. A seeding red hot pain shooting through my urethra. As this lightning bolt of pain is shooting through me I hear a loud ink coming from the toilet bowl. Come to find out I had a looming kidney stone stuck in my urethra and that sneeze is all it took to dislodge it. I could hear it circling the toilet bowl like one of those penny eaters you'd find at a science museum. Ever since I've been issin in ombre of yellow to red, TLDR sneezed while peeing and shot a kidney stone out of my urethra like a Beyblade. TIFU by saying I like chubby girls. Update, firstly thanks for the comments y'all. I went to her place with flowers and chocolate, apologized again and after a long conversation after which we sorted it out I am so relieved now. My overthinking brain went haywire but it's all cool now. I have been seeing a girl for the last month IT's been going wonderful. Yesterday I asked her if I am her type and what is her type, that led her to ask this back. So I like assertive, talkative, Bengali and chubby girls. I also said she fits most of the things other than the Bengali part. The moment I said this she went silent so like a normal human I asked what's up. She says she's really insecure about her body and calling her chubby does not help. I immediately apologized but she was still upset. I said she's really gorgeous and beautiful and sexy and if someone says otherwise is completely wrong, which is all true. She hasn't responded to my text or picking up my calls. I don't know what to do honestly. I really like this girl and would be a huge L if she leaves. TLDR. TIFU by calling the girl I'm seeing chubby without knowing she's insecure about herself. TIFU by faking being sick and starting a fake epidemic. Last Friday, I did not want to go to work, so I called and said I was sick and probably had a menor case of the stomach flu. Actually, 
I could have just said I won't come because I am the owner of the company and would not have to make any excuses. Well, I came back yesterday and one of my seven employees had called in sick. He said, he was not feeling well and probably must have caught the stomach flu from me. Today, another employee called in sick with the stomach flu. So, it seems by skipping work, I started a fake epidemic. I am not in the US, so everybody gets paid 100%, unlimited sick days. I get 60% of the wages back from mandatory insurance. TLDR, instead of just not coming to work, I faked an illness, and now it is spreading.